in this lecture we are going to learn about strings in C and pointers okay so first we will see pointers again are very much related to how strings are stored in your computer okay so let's see how we deal with strings in C so strings are nothing but an array of characters isn't it so care name if you say you write as a string then let's say that I write my name Saurabh okay and it's an array so I give as all these are characters I define so C string is one dimensional array of characters and they are terminated by slash zero okay so that is important this one so whenever you write a C string they should be terminated by a slash zero which is how you recognize the end of a string so, okay this character is started here and it will go string is started it will go and end when I find that okay there is a slash zero okay now because strings are so important so C allows us to write instead of having such a tedious way to write each characters in the inverted comma so we write care name 2 as hello okay so just all the letters in quotations so now if you write like this again it will start somewhere h e so each character occupies one byte and it will end with a character okay so a null character slash zero so now the thing is how to handle these strings so what our c does is let's see if i have to print a string then how we print it so we will see at some simple code and before that i would try my magnifier here okay so let's try this magnifier okay so this is the code i hope you will be able to see this one so we have a code int main so i have a char name saurabh okay so this is the way you write uh, c string here and which automatically is terminated by slash zero so int i is equal to zero i do while name is i is not equal to because this is now just a character array name so name i is not equal to slash zero i keep on moving and i try to write using different ways okay so name i i can access the ith element of that character array name name plus i star can also give me star i plus name and i name all of them will give me the ith element of that character array and i do i plus plus so it will print for me this is one way but another way is char star ptr is equal to name okay so i just make a character pointer and point it to the first uh, to the base address of my character array name and then what i do while star ptr is not equal to slash zero while the value in that pointer location is not slash zero so i will print that value and i will keep incrementing now because c we handle such strings very much so we can also use printf percentage s so it is provided by c so percentage s we can use and name we can do so this way also we can print so let's try out to build this code and run it so what will happen is now we see lot of first time name i then i used name star of name plus i and so many ways i could print s then again using pointer i could print sort of and then using the finally using percentages i could print so this is how you handle strings in c and we can print using array like array we can use pointers to print and there is a special percentages to print strings so i hope you understand this thanks a lot